Hello and welcome. Decision theory. And now this is turn of decision making under uncertainty using probability. How to use probability? In case of a payoff matrix, we know that the two important elements are actions or alternatives or strategies or acts and states of nature. And we know that states of nature are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Exactly in the case of probability distribution, the random variable is made up of all possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. So this is or rather this can be treated as random variable or rather these are the random variables of different probability distributions. The random variables are possible outcomes of all the actions and the probabilities of possible states of natures. On the basis of this data, if we treat the outcomes of an action or act or strategy as X and the corresponding probability of state of nature as P of X, we know that X into P of X and the summation of X into P of X will give us the expected value of payoff because objective variable is payoff. So in this way, we can calculate the expected payoff that is also known as EMV expected monetary value but the question is how can we have such kind of probability the probabilities of each and every states of nature can be available or can be made available through the past records through the past experiences of others who have faced the same kind of situation in past or on the basis of the surveys. But if we know the probability of each and every mutually exclusive and exhaust state of nature, then how can we use them? We can use the probability either with payoffs directly or with opportunity losses. If we use the probabilities with payoffs, we can calculate expected payoff or expected monetary value. And the action or act or strategy or alternative having the highest EMV or highest EP should be selected. In case of opportunity loss, the opportunity loss, rather expected opportunity loss or expected regret can be calculated and logically the action with the lowest EOL should be selected. Let's use the criteria of expected payoff or expected monetary value. As we know that x into p of x will be the process or way of calculation and we can have x into p of x that will be the process 12 into 0.4 that will be 4.8 14 into 0.5 that is 7 and 18 into 0.1 1.8 summation of all these three 4.8 plus 1 5.8 plus 0.8 6.6 plus 7 13.6 in case of A2 10 into 0.4 is 4 28 into 0.5 is 14, 32 into 0.1 is 3.2, 4 plus 14, 18 plus 3.2, 21.2. And in case of A3, it will be 8 into 0.4, 3.2, 24 into 0.5, 12, 40 into 0.14. 12 plus 4, 16 plus 3, 19.2, 19.2. These three are like x in rather sigma x into p of x. That means these three are expected values. They are expected values of payoff. So they are called expected payoffs or they are also known as expected monetary value. The criteria to arrive at the conclusion is the action or act or alternative or strategy with the highest EP or EMV should be selected. So in this case, 
the decision maker should select alternative A2 or action A2 as the final decision. This is the same data of the cases of creating factories either of small size or medium size or large size. So the decision maker should select to go for creating a medium size factory. That's it. Thank you very much.